Hello there Pisces, welcome to your reading. Um, so without further ado, when I was shuffling out the spread, uh, what I saw was, uh, I see this swan, it's a white swan. It's in the middle of a really, really, really big um, body of water. I can't even, you know, they're, they're not ocean dwellers, but it just felt like they're in a, it's in a lake or in a really large body of water and I couldn't even see land or a bank in sight okay so it's just a drift and um it's just looking around the swan is white it's looking around and it doesn't see any land it doesn't see any people and so it's just a drift with the tide or wherever the wind sweeps and it seems like a very calm placid you know uh, surface of the water so everything it, it's like there's no imminent danger but then again it's like open water and then the swan is like, I think I've had it. And it just hoists itself up and it, it flies into the sky. So that's what it feels like to me. And immediately when I saw this, I was just thinking, it feels to me, like for many of you, um, this is the first time where you are coming into your own sense of potential. So it's almost like, um, I, I see this element about skills transfer and I feel almost like you're looking at your skill set and you're 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 looking at all your job past job experience and you're you're trying to do like a major career change or you're contemplating a major career change or a change in your work environment and you're trying to figure out how your skills are transferable so it's almost like the swan adrift in the sea it's floating but at the same time, it's not using its wings. And then for the very first time, you're just like, you know what, I have these wings. Why don't I just fly? Why don't I find something else? Why don't I do something that is different, but more fulfilling, more in alignment with, you know, whatever gifts, whatever endowments I already have. So I, I feel there's this element here about thinking about the trajectory or the direction of your life and no longer feeling like you're just adrift in this big blue ocean. Um, you're taking more initiative, you're being more proactive about, you know, making decisions, but also moving yourself to a new place and especially a higher ground. Um, so that's what I'm seeing. Um, what I'm also feeling as well is for the past four years, Okay, for the past four years, I almost feel like you went through the motions. And um, for example, I'm, I'm seeing this. It's almost like um, I'm going to work for two years. I'm going to meet, you know, somebody and then I'm going to get married and then I'm going to be a mother. So that's one scenario. And I felt that. And then for others, I'm going to do college. I'm going to go off, you know, have like a year of work experience. And then I'm going to go through grad school. And then after grad school, then, you know, everything will fall into place. It's almost like going through the motions, having some type of a plan kind of set out for yourself, you know, for the past four years. And the four years have passed and you're at this point where you need to formulate the next four years that's what it feels like to me you're working in spurts and I feel like you're, you do have a sense of like ultimately what you want and you do kind of prepare for it and plan for it you know possibly four years at a time and as a result of that you're kind of like at the end of that four year period and you're trying to formulate and lay out the blueprint for yourself for the next few years and that puts you in a very powerful position but I also feel like the times are changing and you're you're almost like you're intuitively picking up on that, that it might not be safe for you anymore to just be adrift in this lake. It's open land. I mean, I'm sorry, it's open water. You don't know what's really underneath and you don't know how far it's going to take for you to get to shore. And you're aware of that now you're aware of that and i feel like you have you, you come to the realization that you have to make some changes and you come to the realization that you have to you know rather than swim i might need to fly so whatever it is i feel like you're well prepared for it and your intuition is early and it's catching 
it, it's it's almost recognizing these signs and it's also recognizing this sense of restlessness that you have within you because ultimately you're catching these signs early and the universe wants you to change direction that's what it feels like to me so on the mundane front what i'm seeing in this spread is um I see you and a person, possibly a family member. Um, for some of you, it could be your own children. For others, I feel like siblings. Uh, it's somebody that you have a very strong emotional connection with, okay, like a family member. I see some of you um, formulating, making some plans, scheming, not in a bad way, but I feel like conjuring up some type of a plan. I see you to dealing with some type of legal legal paperwork trying to get something in order trying to plan out how things are going to happen but i feel like the conversations are very hush hush okay it's like behind closed doors it's behind curtains it's behind like uh, the prying ears or the prying eyes of the neighbors so you're doing something that is I feel like a little bit secretive with another person and these conversations are very candid, very hush hush, very behind the, the closed doors and you're scheming, planning something. How are we going to do this? What happens if they ask us that? How are we going to answer this question? How are we going to respond to this? Those types of um, things are, that, that's what I'm, I'm seeing here. And um, I also feel you have somebody that you are, once again, possibly a family member. Um, they're very harsh with their words, okay? They might say things like very, um, they might say things that they don't mean. They blow up fast, they get angry, they blow up, and then they forget, uh, they, they forget about it. Okay, so the only thing I feel that is a major obstacle between you and this person is that they're harsh with their words. They're a little bit, um, they have, I, I don't want to say anger issues. I don't feel like that's the case. Um, I feel like the right way to put it is they say things and then they forget. So when they're upset, they get really upset. So it's like, you know, they, they go from zero to like a hundred on the anger spectrum. But then once they, they're, once they're able to vent, then they're okay. They're a really good person. They have a really good heart. But I feel like a lot of the times, Pisces, you guys are very sensitive. And I feel like you hold a lot of things in. So if somebody is like crossing the line, if somebody says things that are just very indelicate or hurtful, you have to uh, check them on it, okay? You can't just, you know, sit there and soak in silence and give them the silent treatment. You have to tell them, hey, that was over the line. You said it and it was not um, nice or, you know, you should like sugarcoat things or don't speak to me that way. So what i feel here is you're dealing with someone who's um you feel like they're they're very vulgar or they're very indelicate or they're just uh mean but they do have a really good heart and i feel like at the the bottom line that i'm seeing is you, there's a lot of love here it could be a romantic interest it could be a family member but the bottom line is they're very generous towards you they really care about you you care about them there's a lot of love it's just the communication um, needs a little bit more work, and I feel like I, I feel like you're you haven't had much success with this person. Um, I also feel a little bit of fear from your end when you're dealing with this person. Don't be intimidated by other people, okay? Um, and I know that's just you know it's easier said than done. We feel what we feel. But don't stay in that feeling space for too long. Take action to rectify a situation. If you feel like somebody is being harsh, you need to let them know. You need to let them know that, you know, I'm not going to tolerate this behavior. Or you can't speak to people like that. Or, you know, you can't speak to me like that. I don't appreciate it. And here is why. So I feel somebody who's being a little bit insensitive with the things they say. And then you kind of recoil and then you kind of retreat. 
and they don't know that they did anything wrong okay but I feel like this is a really generous person um, so that's what I'm sensing here when it comes to your interpersonal relationships um, I see people having to um, if you have animals like pets and, and whatever that you have that are animals around you be careful about not leaving items like stray items out because I see some pets possibly having to go in for an x-ray because they fought they swallow something and I feel almost like you have to transport them so you have to take time off work you have to deal with the hassle you also have to deal with the worries and the anxiety that you know your pets are like wondering what's wrong with them and that goes as well for younger children if you have younger children if you have small animals just be careful or even big animals um, that you're not leaving stray items especially you know those squeaky toys I'm also seeing toothbrushes toothpaste just uh, you know toxic items or items that are uh, chewable or swallowable just make sure you leave that out of you know um, sight because I, I do see this this worry and anxiety as it relates to children as it relates to animals um, I'm also seeing here for those of you who are in relationships and this is not going to apply for all but I'm seeing this element here about somebody like really making advances on you and um, so here's what I'm seeing and if it doesn't relate it doesn't relate okay I feel like you might have been with someone or you are still with someone somebody who really really loves you and they fought for you like they they really made it known that you really uh, they really love you and the pursuit you know the the way that they pursue you it was very flattering and then you fall into a relationship with them but I feel like everything was all the actions all the steps were taken from their end so it just felt almost like you're swept along you know it's like it, it happened in succession and and I feel like it was just kind of out of your control or you didn't take initiative in the relationship they were just you know through the sheer force of just really wanting you and really loving you they move things along and and now I don't know how long it has been that you're in a relationship with this person but it feels now that you're looking at the situation and you're just like you know what I was swept along I was not really making any um, I, I it, it felt almost like you weren't really an active participant in in the course of the relationship and you're coming to this sense of awakening you know and I feel like it has a lot to do with January 2019 when we are taking stock of where we've been and where we're trying to go where you're just like am I still really in love with this person is this the direction that I want my life to go am I still content staying in this it's almost like having this sense of awakening that wow I'm you know um, nine years of marriage and three kids later I felt like I've just been swept along you know it, it felt like life was happening to me rather than me being able to actively uh, carve out a path so that I can move along in my life that's what it feels like to me and so I also see this element about you know being financially dependent on another person it could be your partner towards you or you towards your partner and things can get a little bit messy if you were trying to if you were to ever disengage and you know separate or um, divorce so that's what it feels like you're coming into this major awakening you're taking stock and you're trying to figure out you know am I still happy is this what I want am I content is this what I want to do for the rest of my life and so I feel like you know you you might have been adrift like just um, going wherever the the ties take you not really steering your own boat okay not being the captain of your own life and I feel like coming into this uh, week 
and I know like I'm speaking, you know, in terms of week, but the energy can uh, blur into, you know, the rest of the, the month. But what I feel is you're taking control. You're now steering yourself to a place of safety. And you're now taking charge of the direction of your life, charting your own path. On the road to discovery even, for many of you, this can indicate to me travel, movement, moving away from a troublesome situation. And, you know, it's almost like the dawning of a new day. Um, we have here the Ten of Swords, which in this deck, whenever we come to a valley, it's a place where kind of like the, the heavens break open. There's that, um, the, the, the strands or the... Um, the beams of light kind of shine on that valley. It's almost like the dawning of a new day. It's a place of safety. It's a place of refuge and being able to find people and, and, and safety and shore and land. So I feel almost like this sense of being adrift is done and over with. Whatever cycle that you have been through because of, you know, I honestly feel like trusting in the wrong people, having the sense of wishful thinking where um, you're just like, it's going to happen, you know, in the way it's supposed to happen. I can only wish for the best and not doing enough planning in your own life. I feel like that time period is coming to an end where you are now, you know, captain of your own ship where you are now able to steer your life in the direction that you want. And I also feel for many of you taking a major, major, big uh, leap of faith, okay? So if you have been in a relationship, for example, you might be thinking about even, you know, like uh, settling down, building a family, building a life together, focusing more, less on your professional life and then more on your emotional, uh, romantic life, trying to cultivate that sense of... Um, family and community um, I'm also sensing for many of you I'm feeling almost like um, I see a lot of people taking trips and um, this is over trips via airways like uh, uh, via uh, airplane and I also feel like you know going to the Western Europe area I'm also seeing um, as well like possibly Rome Italy um, I'm also seeing Portugal and Spain, and then I'm also seeing Latin America, especially like Argentina, trying to get back in alignment, okay, trying, so it, you might have, you know, family there. Um, I'm also seeing as well, trying to get some projects off the ground, and you needed somebody, possibly like a, a buyer, a, a lender, or a group of people so that you can launch a project. So I do see a lot of um, uh, formulating some type of a legal plan or getting something off the ground and there's a lot of thinking that's involved. It's, it's almost like trying to launch a project and you need buy-in, you need financiers, you need people that are going to be on board, you also need workers and you're going to these areas to try to plan out how it's going to happen, how to launch something, how to connect people to the right resources and how to get this thing off the ground. And I don't feel like you're doing it on your own. I feel like you might be connecting with people over large, vast distances, possibly overseas to get this off the ground. For some of you, you could be like remotely overseeing some type of work overseas and now you're traveling there to see how the work is getting off the ground. You're trying to um, see how they're doing something so that you can replicate it where you are. So it's almost like that skills transfer once more. Uh, learning new skills so that it can be transferable to a different work environment. And then I also feel, you know, on the plus side, you might be a consultant where you are transferring your skills to another group of unskilled workers so that they can, so that you can enhance or increase their productivity. So there's a lot of movement and a lot of thinking and a lot of strategizing and a lot of formulating new things coming into this spread. So I definitely feel it's going to be a really momentous uh, January for you guys. But at the same time, um, I just feel like 
the only thing is um and i've been getting this a lot for uh pisces you guys are really tolerant people you tolerate with a lot a lot a lot and um i feel like a lot of the times you know when you don't jive well with somebody either the way they communicate is a little bit too abrasive um, you just kind of avoid them. You just kind of shy away from them But I also feel like these people have a lot of leadership capabilities and they have a lot of good leadership qualities and So whenever we feel ourselves in opposition or in conflict with uh, Perpetually with those certain types of people it basically means there's a lesson to be learned there And maybe the lesson is for you to you know speak up for you not to let other people push your buttons and for you to not let other people Intimidate you, you know, so I feel like if you have family members if you have especially people you love and you know, they're very insensitive for example it's uh it's important for you to voice your opinion and you need to tell them you know that's not the right way to talk or please don't use that type of language or you know if you want people to listen to you you have to say it this way so i feel like you have a lot to offer in terms of uh, allowing people to communicate in a way that is more in alignment with being heard Whereas they can teach you, you know, to kind of uh, be brave and, and stand up for yourself and, and to really uh, not shy away from people or situations that you feel could potentially be confrontational, but rather seeing that as a learning opportunity and to allow yourself to put yourself in that, that situation. Because opposition is not always bad. It doesn't always lead to conflict. It can be very ego driven, but when we take the energy away from the person that's very ego driven and we kind of allow that energy to permeate and reach other people it can be a very collaborative environment so we can change energy we can shift energies you know so for example every time we get into group work right and everyone can pretty much identify with this one person ultimately takes over and then Usually we have one person that kind of free rides off, maybe more than one person, one person that always free rides off whatever all the team members are doing. So you have the leader and you have the opportunist, and this is just prevalent across all work environment. Okay, so whenever groups form, that's what happens. One person takes over and then uh, the weaker person or the more opportunistic person kind of takes a step back. And so in that type of environment, it's really easy to, to identify people who might be very ego driven and then people in different ways. Opportunists are also ego driven and then leaders are also, some of them could be very ego driven. So my point here is Play around with the energy, okay? So if somebody's like, I wanna do this, and you can you know, steer the conversation. Um, since we're working in a group, why don't we ask what all the members wants to do? So use your diplomacy to kind of redirect the questions, reroute ideas, and to allow everyone to feel inclusive because that's what you're really, really good at. You make everyone feel very inclusive and you make people feel like they're the only people in the room, that your attention is on them. So play around with the energy. You know, if you're um, coming into contact with someone who's very alpha, whose energy is a little bit too domineering or too demanding or too overbearing, um, you don't have to run away from it. Face it head on strategize and find ways for you to kind of um i i feel redirect the energy so i hope the examples help okay just be a little bit crafty about how you do that but i i feel like it's, it's time to do that okay it's time to kind of like set people in their place and it's time to really stand up for yourself and to ask people to you know speak to you how you want to be spoken to to treat you how you want to be treated all right um i hope the reading is helpful i wish you all a very happy and prosperous 2019 i wish you the very best pisces take care